China is rapidly advancing its space program, and the country's latest heavy lift to carry a rocket, the Long March 5, is a crucial part of its strategy. And now here's uh, Ko Yunfei once again talking to some insiders at the Launch Center to find out more about this. The Long March 5, China's biggest ever carrier rocket, is now awaiting its maiden mission on the country's southern island, Henan Province. It can carry up to 25 tons, that's around the same weight as 16 cars, to low Earth orbit. It's 57 meters tall and weighs about 800 tons itself. The Long March 5 is comparable to its international counterparts, including in the domains of booster engines, payload levels in low and high Earth orbit. Before China, only the United States and Europe had similar power systems. With a three-stage, five-meter diameter, a dual-engine primary core, the Long March 5 is the widest among all the rockets developed by China. In fact, it is so wide, it could not be transported by the current railway system to the Inland Launch Center. We call it FAT-5. It goes beyond the current rail transportation limits of 3.35 meters, so it has to be transferred by sea to a coastal launch site. Completed in 2014, the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center is the only launch center near China's coast. But the sheer size of Long March 5 means it's like new age for China's space program. The liquid propellant consumption of the Long March 5 is tenfold more than previous rockets. Just in the fueling process, we have to invent many new technologies and devices like the low temperature valve of mass flow and the new liquid oxygen pump. Once in operation, its highest profile mission will be launching the core module of China's permanent space station, Tiangong, as well as the lunar and Mars missions. The space launch is a global high-profile event, but for the thousands of workers and engineers working behind the scenes, it means years of dedication, separation from their families, and loneliness in hard work. But they say it's all worth it. Gu Yunfei, CCTV, at Wenchang Satellite Launch Center.